welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube. I am your host, and today we have a brand new episode of our NHL 21 Dallas Stars franchise mode. Last episode, we have an overtime victory during Dallas Bartos' NHL debut. Another NHL debut this game, guys. We have some more injuries just looming around in the uh, NHL squad. Uh, some stuff that AJ Greer just kind of doesn't fill in for, like, centers. So, Antonio Strange is our fourth line center. He went down with an injury. So, right now, we're going to have uh, Frederick Karlstrom make his NHL debut. He's 27 years old. He's 79 overall. He got called up, so he has that, that called up, you know, negative. So, he's actually got 69 nice overall. But, you know, being 27, you know, not much left in the tank for the young fella. Or for, I guess, now the old fella. So, we're looking to... You know, just give him, give him a shot. You know, let him, you know, just let him have a, you know, a day on the big league ice at least until uh, Strangers gets back from injury. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully get the win this game. I mean, we've turned the season around a little bit. We're 13, 10, and 3 uh, at the time of this episode. So... You know, we're doing a little better than 5 and 7. You know, we're at least above 500, I like to say. We got shots, no good. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure if my plan for the off season to try and put up as much cap space as possible is going to work. Because you got to think, Askarov's going to want a contract. So, I'm thinking... If we clear up Fabry and Rask, that should create enough money to bring back Askarov on another contract. Because, you know, uh, Askarov, uh, Fabry's making just short of five. Uh, Victor Rask is making just over one million. So you put those two guys, it's about six-ish million, I want to say. I want to say Victor Rask made about 1.3, 1.2 million a season. Um... While Fabry's making 4.7 for this season and next season. Now, Fabry, you know, trading him definitely hurts the offensive output of our bottom six. Uh, because he, he was kind of brought in just to be that offensive, you know, just another offensive weapon to pair up with Tyler Sagan. Um, as you can tell, it hasn't really worked out as he's playing on our third line. I'm also always gonna I'm always gonna value um, Dallas players over other players. There's Carl Strum right there. We're number 81 uh, for the Dallas Stars this game. All right. Nope, lost that one. Carl Strum. All right, cool. At least, at, least, at least they didn't freeze the puck right there. So Karlstrom had some shots on net right there. Not bad, not great. You know, didn't get the goal. Uh, Nas goes Riley Damani. Damani? I still don't know how to say his name. Awesome. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I love when, um, when it doesn't snap to a player. When it does and the player just doesn't pick it up. Uh, but... Nice. Slap that right into Tori Krug. Is that Klim Costin, the power forward, no power? Alright, can we can we pick this puck up, please? Nice. Nice save right there by uh Yoroslav Asker. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see when the uh, goalie just puts his uh puts his body out there. Dude, he's literally holding me from behind. How is that not a penalty to hold someone literally from behind? All right, here we go. Sagan. Ooh, Sagan can't get the breakaway now. Can he get the inside? Of course he can't. Why would Tyler Sagan be able to get the inside on the uh, on the Blues defense? There you go. Dump that one in, Voracek, please, and thank you. It's not a steal. It was a dump. Oh, 
Nice, nice. Come on. Good old Jamie Ben. No. No, come on. All right, we got this. Okay. Dude, I, I love the I love the coding for the AI defense where it's just or it's not actually defense it's just hey let's run into them and force them to cough the puck up because of incidental contact that's my favorite part of this game is that it's, it's the same thing since NHL 19 they actually don't even play defense it just run into you until you cough the puck up Come on. There we go. Come on. Good old Rupe. Anyone with them? Of course not. Because apparently de the defense on the St. Louis Blues is as fast as every winger we have. Dump that one in. Come on. Harley, up to Tufty. Ah, oh, it just doesn't flip that one as hard as I want it to be flipped. Yeah, he just didn't flip it quick enough. He just flipped it right into his chest. Oh, okay. Did I? I need to get a better, a better court for my controller because like this is like super frustrating. Super duper frustrating right there that I think every episode this week I've had a disconnect in it. Hmm. Oh, there you go. There's another disconnect. Awesome. I don't I'm not, I'm not doing anything, I'm not hitting it on anything, and it's just disconnecting. Like it's it's just disconnected after I try to reconnect it. Alright, come on, let's see if we can get this to work. Maybe I'll start using batteries. Yes, I'm... <sighs> Alright, it's going to be a 30-minute episode, and it's going to be 20 minutes of disconnects. Like, I don't, I'm not sure, like, what I need to do to have it stop disconnecting. Alright. There we go. Get old Jacob Voracek right there. There you go. First goal of the game goes Dallas Stars. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sagan Gurinoff on the assist right there. So the whole first line getting uh, some points. All right. All right. Come on. Come on, push up over there. Now. Yep, kick that one down. Hi, Skinengo gets it, please and thank you. Uh, 13 and a half minutes left remaining. Hi, Skinengo gonna get chased down from behind. Get old Darcy Kemper. Nice stick poke. There we go, Steven. Steven! Dude, Steven Universe right there. You love to see that one. 11th of the season 4 stamp. Gosh, love that right there. It's 27th point as well. So, he's got himself... Uh, Goal, 27th point, Askarov and Rupe on the uh, Sisterinos. Ooh, big D on the disconnect goal right there. A quick, very quick 3 nothing right there. I don't... 
Come on. Come on, Control. You can do it. We're almost done this game. And I'll go find some batteries or something to put in you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome right there. That back-to-back -back goals late in the game. I actually should say three consecutive goals late in the game. Now, uh, Satterstrom and Thea Rochette on the assist right there. Oof. That shot was super wide. Thanks for the poke check there. I appreciate that. No, I like how they somehow picked the puck up as I was going for a hit animation. Alright, Fabry. A little over five and a half. I, mean, I guess not a little under five and a half left. Come on. There we go, there we go. Nice, nice shot. Come on. Awesome, come on, there we go. Harley with that one. Ooh, Victor Rask and another disconnect on the goal. Like, I'm not even hitting an end in anything. That's the problem. I'm not hitting an end in anything. It's just disconnecting. Like, the wire's disconnecting power to the controller, which is awesome. But, Carl Strum right there uh, picks up his first NHL point right there on the assist to Victor Rask with his third goal of the season. Hmm. It's a shame, dude. He had like a 15 goal season a couple years ago, I feel like. Like a 10, 15 goal season. Uh, but Carl Strum, in his NHL debut, picks up a point, though. Not a goal, though, but a point. I'd say if they, if, they, if they score a goal in the final 45 seconds, I'm going to be a little upsetty spaghetti. Tough D. Yep, keep that puck moving. Keep the puck out of our zone. Nope, oh, come on. Nice. Nice, nice little body shot right there. Awesome. Nice shutout right there for the Dallas Stars as they come out in the win right here. Askarov picks up the shutout on a, it's definitely a down year. So good to see that right there. Askarov pats on backs for him. Love to see that. Definitely love to see that right there for Yaroslav. There you go. Everyone's waving. Look at that. Look at all those high fives. All those, you know, all those. Hello there's all this all this player salutes and such. Awesome right there, Steven Stamkos. Nice goal right there for the young fella. Uh, Victor Siderstrom had an assist and four hitterinos on the game in the four nothing victory. Good for Siderstrom. Uh, we had Yaroslav Askarov who had a fifteen save shutout, like their one thousand percent Reno on that save percentage. And we had Jakub Voracek, one goal, no assist, and a hit for the big fella. And, well, I guess also Ascroft had an assist in the game, too. But 4 nothing victory here for the Dallas Stars. We will catch you guys next week on a brand new episode of the Chance Bishop Show featuring the Dallas Stars in NHL 21. But until next time, YouTube, though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and turn on my other Xbox and have a great day, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't know.